Okay, in today's video, you will learn how to build a snowman using the standard form of a circle. Okay, so let's begin. Hopefully, by the end of the video, you will end up with something like this or maybe something like this. Whichever one you end up, you have accomplished the task. So let's begin. So first of all, you want to start by typing this equation right here. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals to radius squared. You press uh, insert all. And now you have a circle here. To move the circle, you can grab it. You have to you have to move it with this. This will move it up and down. This will move it left and right. And then this will increase the radius. Okay, so if I want my circle to go, maybe I want to put it at negative 2 maybe, like right here. And then, so my radius is 2. You can make it bigger if you like, but I think 2 is good for me. Maybe I'll put 3. I'll put 3. Yeah, 3. So now that you have this circle, you're going to control, you're going to hit control C, and you're going to put control V to recopy that equation. These values that you see here, H, K, and R, are going to be inputted into the equation above. So this will be 0. This will be 0. And the radius is 3 squared, which will be 9. But I'll just put it 3 squared. OK, so now we have the circle. And we can just, uh, we can just delete this stuff right here. OK, so now we have the equation again. And now we have. Um, the equation again so that we can play. So we can put this as the base. Now we're going to put the, um, the upper body. So I want it to look something like that. I'm going to move it up. I want to increase the radius. So the previous one was radius of 3. So maybe this one could be a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll put it right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks good, and I'll put another one on the top. Okay, so now we can put these values. Well, let me copy this equation again. So we're going to copy this equation, and then I'm going to put the values here, 0, 4.4, and then the radius square is 2.4 square. Perfect. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to put this again, and now we have another circle. Uh, we can do one more circle just for the upper body. <laughs> it's not Mickey Mouse, so we're not going to do that. But we can put a little bit like maybe a little bit like 1.5, I think. Yeah, I think this is good, 1.5. I think we can put it there. Yeah, that's perfect. And I don't know if you want to change the color. You could. You hold it right here. Purple. And then let's change the, this one to orange, maybe. Yeah, something like that. That's fine. OK, so now we can, um, I believe we're going to need another one. So Control C, Control V. And we input these values. We can put these values over here. So now we're going to do the eyes. So we have this here. And the eyes, of course, are going to move, going to be like right there. We're going to move it up. We're going to move it up right here. And with the radius, of course, has to be smaller, right? I'm going to move a little bit. Probably right there. Because we have to move one here. I believe this is good. Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, so we're going to copy again another circle. And I'm hoping that the other one is going to look um, very similar to that one. So to make sure I remember my values, this will be plus, so that's a negative minus. 0 0.6, so this will be plus, plus 
0 0.6. Uh, this will be minus 7.6. Seven point six. Okay, so seven point six, and then the radius here will be zero point four. Zero point four. Okay, zero point four. And now we have the eye right here. We can delete this two right here. There, that looks good to me. Okay, same, same height. And this is 0 0.6. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so this will be 0 0.6. This one is 7.6. Because it's the same height. And then the radius is the same. So the only thing that changed was this. This to be a negative, right? So we could have just done that. That was easier. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. And this one is 0 0.4. So this is here. So in other words, this one just changed to negative. Let's make the same eye, so blue. Yeah, let's do that instead. And I want to shade the eye. So to do that, I'm going to do like this, grade, uh, less than or equals. So... We'll do less than or equal, so right here. And then we're going to shade the eyes. So to shade the eyes, I can just make this less than or equal. So, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. And then for this one, also less than or equal. Boom. Okay, so let's just do a happy face now. And I think we're going to be done. Okay, so I think we're going to be done. I think this orange, we can make it blue also. Perfect. So this is our snowman. Uh, now let's just put a face, and I think we're going to be done. For our face, we can use parabola. Y equals x minus h uh, square uh, plus k. Okay. So there's our face. And of course, we want to bring it. Oh, we forgot to put the a. So a here. So we're going to bring it up. Mm -hmm. Going to bring it a little bit to the left. Okay. How wide do you want the smile? Like this, maybe? Mm, a little lower. Yeah, we can put it right there. Okay. So now let's put 0 0.8. Zero, and for K we're gonna put six point five. Uh, I want the face to stop like somewhere here, maybe. So let's put it so that is uh, seven. Let's put seven. So I want the face to be less than seven. So I want the the range to be less than seven. How do we write that? Well, you open brackets. And you're going to say uh, y is less than or equals to 7. Perfect. Like that. Okay. So this is restricting. So the graph only shows from 7 and down. Okay. Mm. We can do another. Maybe do an, a nose. Yeah, we can do a nose. H, K, and R. Let's do a nose real quick. So that's going to be here. Radius. You can also put a dot, I believe. Yeah, there we go. But I think you can put a you can put a point to it. So some of my students they were putting a point. Like if you want to put a point right here, like zero seven, for example. Yeah, so they did that. Put a nose like that if you want. Okay. But I'm not gonna put a point. I'm just gonna put that instead. 
and I am going to shade it. I'm going to shade it by doing less than or equal. There. Let's make it blue also. Or make it orange, like if it's carrot. Yeah, there we go. So this will be zero. This will be 7.1. Perfect. And the radius is uh, 0 0.2. Yes, 0 0.2. We don't need to worry about the negative since when we square, it's going to be positive. Okay, and there you have it. That's your snowman. Oh, yeah, this one right here. So we're going to go here. And just put y less than or equals 6.5. And look, right now it's gone. If I remove this, that still shows. But if I put this, now it's gone. And now you have your snowman. Now, to make this without the grid, you can hide this. Okay. Of course, you can put the arms if you like, but we're going to just stop right here for this video. And you just put the um, set of the grid. You put it like that. No x-axis, no y-axis. And now you have your snowman. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow for more content like this. These are the equations. I'll see you guys on the next video.